the power of your thoughts. Your thoughts are more powerful than you think. The thoughts that you have literally dictate how you feel and what's happening around you. So that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Now, your thoughts, man, like we all have thoughts, negative thoughts, positive thoughts, but we don't know the power of them. We don't know the significance and what the thoughts are actually doing to us. Like, it's much deeper than you think. It's not just, oh, I had a thought and I had this thought. Like, it literally affects your body, affects your circumstances, affects everything. Everything around you is affected by your thoughts. Now, we can go in different angles. We can go scientifically. Like, even scientists have, have even shown and proven that if you have a negative thought or if you feel angry or distressed and that, it has a negative effect on your cells and that. Like, your cells are acting in a different way that's actually harming you. So being an aggressive person, someone who feels stressed out and all of these emotions have an effect on your physiological, even psychological body. You feel me? So it's not just a thought. The thought is more impactful or more stronger than you can even imagine. Vice versa, if you have a positive thought and you're having a low, low frequency, you're, you're thinking in a, in a prosperous way and that, that has an effect on your body. You're going to feel great. Your cells are going to be working for you. You understand? So we need to pay attention to it, man. You have to pay close attention to what you are thinking because what you are thinking is literally, literally dictating where you're going in your life and how you're feeling that. You understand? We all want to feel good. We all want to be like, you know, joyful in that. So the main, you, you cannot think negative things, yeah? And then expect to like feel positive or for positive things to happen to you and you cannot like think positively and then negative things or feel negatively so how you feel is a like direct correlation with what you're thinking if you're not feeling good you're feeling down and all that pay to, pay attention to what you're thinking more than likely you're thinking thoughts that are not uplifting that are pu pulling you down if you're feeling good and joyful more than likely you're thinking thoughts that are like uplifting and good and positive and that you know it's, it's really that simple now your thoughts are more powerful than you think. Like, think about it, like, like I said in my live stream before. Someone, for example, who's poor to someone who's rich. And now, what's the difference? It's not just that that person is more lucky or they have better situations. No, like, the poor person, when he gets paid and now he's thinking, let me spend the money, let me buy this and buy that. The rich person, he gets his money, saves it, invests it. See, the difference is the thinking, the, the thinking process. So, for you to elevate your life, your situation, your circumstances you need to elevate your thinking if you cannot elevate your mind if you cannot think differently then you're not going to get out the situation that you're in right now because your, your situation that you're in right now is a straight correlation with what you are thinking so to go to that next level then the thinking has to go to the next level because whatever you think about will turn into action then your action will turn into a habit and your habit will turn into your character and destiny but the first step is your thinking. People try to do different things. Or oh, let me start working out. Let me do this. Let me do that. But then they come back to their old self because their thinking has not changed. But once your thought process has changed, then the action will change and then everything else will follow. You know, especially when it comes to working out. A lot of people want to get on a diet and they want to start working out consistently, look after themselves. But their perspective of working out and uh, eating healthy is the same you look at working out as a chore you look at working out as something that's a burden something that takes so much time that drains your energy that's how you view working out so it's only a matter of time before you go back to not working out but the person who works out consistently his mindset is different he looks at working out as a blessing as a way to improve his physical mental health as a way to advance his life as a way to set example for his family and friends you see see that mentality is way different so that thinking there is going to lead you to do the right thing so now obviously the question is going to be then how do you alter your thinking then it's very simple but it's just like anything else just how it's like asking how do you build muscle you build muscle by training consistently over a period of time then you build muscle same as your thinking you need to think positively once you have a negative thought reverse it and continue it to say affirmations and say positive things over a period of time it'll get better and you, your force will become stronger and, and more harmonious you know so it's like there's no quick fix to now do this and you're forced to change no it's a gradual process it's a step-by-step -step guide and that like that you have to follow in order to get to the stage where your thoughts are positive 
you know because even looking back at myself and the one i used to have constantly negative thoughts thoughts that weigh me down negative things were happening in my life bro i was going through some mad crazy ish and that because my thoughts were constantly constantly negative bro so this is facts bro this ain't no something i read from a book or something this is real life bro i've experienced myself and that you feel me so it's like it's a gradual step and that it's a gradual gradual step but what i do personally every day when i wake up i read a book on a mindset the book i read is um uh, James Allen as a man thinks and that book goes into detail how your thoughts are affecting your circumstances affecting like what's happening around you and the, the, the significance and the power of your thoughts and that so like constantly reading something or consuming something that reminds you that your thoughts are powerful it's a great way to start the day because if you don't like pay attention or read something or consume something that talks about your thoughts and the significance of it then you're going to go to default mode back to the same habitual thinking back to just doing what you used to do thinking how you used to think and back into that same mindset of depression anxiety like whatever thing that you're suffering with and they're going to go back to it so you need a constant reminder bro multiple times in a day if you can whether you write down a piece of paper whether you you watch a video like this whether you read a book it has to be a constant reminder until it becomes like subconscious where you don't even have to think about it you don't even need to read anything it's just in your mind but you have to do it daily for a long period of time you know like i've all said 20 21 90 rule like it takes 21 days to create a habit and 90 days for it to be a lifestyle so if you do something every single day for 21 days it will become a habit if you do it for 90 days it's gonna be part of your lifestyle so that's how you have to look at it as far as changing your thoughts every single day when you wake up have some read something when we consume something you have to stay on that vibe stay on that frequency you know because your thoughts are seriously seriously powerful man they literally are dictating where you are right now you're not gonna advance until you elevate your thinking you know people try all the all of the things that they can just do try and do several things at the same time and try and just be in a different environment but until you can change your thinking bro once you're changing once your thinking changes your environment will change your friends will change bro like your situation will change everything will change bro but that's the first and most important step in that you know a lot of people who have addictions and that like whether that's like smoking or drugs or i don't know what addiction people have and that like the most important thing is the thought process and that you can, you can you can say oh, i'm going to stop smoking but then you're going to go back to smoking because your mind hasn't changed you know so you have to pay attention to that man that is the most important thing man that's literally what's going to determine you having a good life a bad life good experience negative experience now i'm not saying that oh, okay like once you change your thought that's see you'll never ever experience anything negative again but it just you'll perceive it differently you won't even see it as a negative anymore you know so pay attention to that man that's literally one of the most this is one of the most important videos i'm gonna make bro, ever because this is the this is literally the reality of life and that you know the person who looks at the world as oh the world is shit and the world is in a bad place and this is and that like that's the experience that they're having in their life and that so wherever they go they're looking for the negative if you're looking for the positive you're gonna find the positive if you're looking for the negative you'll find the negative it's really that simple so pay attention to your thinking pay attention to your thought guard your mind in that guard your mind from negative people negative information like social media that's not serving you flipping anything that's not like in harmony with what you want to cultivate you need to protect it man you need to have security at the gate at your mind in that man full 24 7 surveillance and that don't let anything enter that's not part of your get me of what you want to do with your life and that you know seriously gotta pay attention to it man because otherwise man you're just gonna fall into a trap and that man and you're gonna feel like that you are not in control over your life and that you know because you are you are dictating your life your thinking the way you behave and that determines like what is going to happen in your life and that so pay attention to it guard it bro guard it with your life and that guard it like everything depends on it you know feed your mind with positivity you know put your mind into a state of positivity read positive books speak to positive people watch videos that are encouraging bro you're gonna see your life change so fast you're gonna be like wow like you're gonna be like wow like, i didn't even know it was just that that's all it is that's all you need to do you know but again it takes time you're not going to do straight away but you have to put pressure on it you have to do it daily multiple times in a day if you can even and just protect your mind at all costs otherwise <sighs> You're going to the default mode, you're gonna go back to the same cycle over and over again, and in 15, 10, 15, 20 years, you'll be in the same position until 
the mind is elevated so that's the video hopefully it brought you value if it did smash that like button make sure to comment down below let me know what you get from the video and definitely hit the red subscribe button and join the family man the channel's all about self-development and becoming the best version yourself peace